Hey, it's Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel, and today we're going to run through a speed install of Cacti, which is a network monitoring system. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, please note that I am using the walkthrough from howtoforge.com, and I will include the link to that set of instructions in the description. So I've got a brand new container running Ubuntu 20.04 and I've already run the updates. So after this we're going to install some dependencies and once this finishes up we're going to install the LAMP server. Alright we'll go ahead and install the LAMP server. All right, we are going to edit the php.ini file. And we've got a couple of specific things we need to, to change. So we are going to go memory limit. And this needs to be 512. Max execution time, 60. And date dot time zone. You'll want to set this to what is appropriate for you. And for me, it's America, Detroit. Okay. And we're going to edit another file and we're going to make the same changes and then we're going to restart Apache. Now we're going to configure the MariaDB server. And we are going to make some changes here. And we want that to be UTF-8 MB4 Unicode underscore CI, which is good. We have no matching lines, apparently. So I think we can just paste these into the file. We're going to restart MariaDB. And we're going to create database cacti db and we are going to say And yes, I know you can all see this password, but this will get changed later on or I'll rebuild this VM. Okay. Flush privileges and exit. Now we need to import time zone data. And now we need to grant some privileges again. And again, flush privileges and exit. All right, now we get to the part where we're downloading Cacti. Okay. Gonna edit a config file. All 
Okay. Database. MySQL. Database default. Cacti DB. Localhost. Cacti user. Password is what we set before. And 3306 for the port. Save that. And we want to do sudo touch var dub dub dub. HTML cacti log cacti.log. And we're going to set some ownership on a couple of directories. All right, and now we're going to do a change to the cron, uh, a cron job. And we are going to add a line that they specify. And save and close that. And we need to do a change to the virtual host file configuration. And then we need to enable cacti. And restart Apache. And verify the status. And we are active and running. And so we want to go to our web interface, which is the server IP slash cacti. Get our server IP address. And what do you know? It actually worked on the first attempt, at least so far. Default username and password are both admin. Make it a little larger for everybody to see. And we're prompted to change the password. And we'll do that. now okay so we get to do default theme let's go for dark mode I like that better except GPL begin uh, and it failed us on one of the MySQL settings Okay, so it looks like we need to go back into that config file at some point. So I'm going to screenshot this section. And I'm going to screenshot this section. Let's see. Come back over here, done the password. That's fine. Do a primary server or remote polar. We're going to do primary server. And agree. mode network range okay next I think we're gonna be okay there We'll see if this crashes and burns on us or if we actually get something that works when we're done. 
All right, so we should get this screen when everything is done. Okay, so we are at the end of the install wizard. We can say get started and look at that. You are now logged into Cacti. You can follow the basic steps to get started, create devices for network, create graphs for new devices and view graphs. So create device. And this is my first time through this as well. So location, I don't know as so though SNMP is enabled on that. Well, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. But we've got the basis for playing more with cacti. So that didn't work out so well. We'll say that's not in use. So we'll do ping for that. Ping timeout. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna create another device. And we'll call this. And we're gonna say that's not in use. Ping, and we'll create that. This one should work for us. All right, well, let's see. All right, well, this seems as good a place as any to wrap up. Uh, we did successfully get Cacti installed. Uh, some of the configuration is done. Some additional configuration will happen in a future video after I spend some time reviewing uh, the documentation a little bit further. But we did, in fact, get this up and running, and we will circle back to it in a future video. If you like the video, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications. If you've used Cacti before and you have some tips or tricks you want to share, head down to that comment section and uh, leave those so that the community at large is able to learn a little bit more about cacti. And as always, I appreciate all of you and I hope that everybody's staying safe out there in the current world condition and I wish you all a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.